everyone. I am Jyoti Lakshmi, RTS trainer, BMAX Kollam branch. Today we are going to discuss about the different types of agreement concepts that can be seen in sentences. They are subject verb agreement, pronoun antecedent agreement, noun agreement, tenses agreement. Now let's see how to maintain a consistency with these agreements when plotting up a sentence. Firstly, subject verb agreement. Always remember you have to adjust a verb according to its subject. That is, a singular subject agrees with as or as added verb, whereas a plural subject agrees with a pure form of verb. For example, my student lives in that city. My students live in that city. Secondly, pronoun antecedent agreement. We are all know pronouns are words that replace nouns and antecedent are the nouns the pronoun replace. Always remember number and gender are the two important factors here. A woman has many more options op open to her than ever before. Here both her and a woman agree in number and gender which are singular and feminine. Women have many more options open to them than ever before. Here, the number and gender wise, both women and them agree as they are plural and feminine. Thirdly, noun agreement. All we have to do is change the number of the noun. For example, Jack and Mike wanted to be a doctor which is wrong. Jack and Mike wanted to be doctors. Here the subject is a, a plural noun and it can become one doctor which is awkward. So simply change a singular noun doctor into doctors. Finally tenses agreement. It's very important to think about when the action in your statement occurred. In IELTS exam, everyone knows the necessity of a floating complex sentences for getting seven band. The tenses agreement concept plays a key role to frame sentence with the coherence and cohesion. For example, Frank doesn't know how he should wear the jacket. Here, the two clauses are expressed in different tenses. However, they suit logically and maintain consistency in meaning.